Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene. Today I am going to take you guys through the process of how I make my uh, prayer cards more accessible because I don't want to say make my own prayer cards per se, even though they are mine, I bought them. But um, as I mentioned time and time again, these cards actually came from Dollar Tree. So for a dollar and 25 cents, you get 20 cards. And these are by Crown Jewels. They are women owned in case you care about that certain thing. And like I said, you get 20 and you can share them. You can use them for Bible journaling. Um, you can use them just to meditate and pray. Or like in myself, I like to not only pray and read over the scriptures over and over again, but I also like to go into my Bible, highlight it and make notes so that uh, the scripture become, can become familiar to me and I can learn them. So you can use them for memory sake. All right, so this is what the finishing product looks like. I end up tossing my boxes out and I end up putting a ring on them. Now I did make some mistakes, some obvious mistakes to me. Um, you may not care. Um, I typically started off by putting them too far in and it kind of makes it difficult to make a nice clean opening and closing. So for this particular one right now, I'm actually going to attempt to bring it in, which I didn't do every single last one of mine like that, but most of them are definitely too far in, in my opinion. Like, I think the closer you do the edge, the better. I'm trying to see, yeah, most of these are like in my exact same spot. So these new ones, I'm gonna be completely different with it. But I'm gonna show you what I do, my little process. First of all, everything is from Dollar Tree. The cards, the ring, um, and the hole puncher. I get about three cards at a time. I make sure they're completely nice and straight. Then I take the hole puncher that you turn it this way, the base that can be empty should be at the bottom and you want to be able to see. So you come in um, far enough in where there are some durability or some stability where um, when the cars get worn, it won't like just come clean off. Like I think this is too far to the edge, but if you come in just enough here and I typically look for a design in the, the car that would help me be familiar where to put um, future holes. Like there's a little speck here and I'm going to guide my device just above that. So I'm, I'm in and I'm turn at a full angle like this. I think that's perfect. And then voila, I have holes. And I think that's just enough space to give it that strong hole with my ring, but not too far in where it would be difficult to pull. So I'm gonna leave this here for a guide and I'm gonna get three more. And I believe three is my max. I don't, um, I tried to do like five and that was too much. But same thing, I'm coming in on the edge. Um, my base is right by that little mark and I'll make more holes and that should be fairly even. And it is. So same thing. Like I said, the key is to get a decent amount where you won't struggle, but y'all know I'm having problems with my hands anyway because of the shingles and um, my base seems to be full, but just for the sake of showing y'all what it looks like because I already did some more cards. I did some um, other cards, as you can see, too, within there. But stay tuned for that. I'll go through that process video with that. But anyway, make sure your cards is nice and even. And then, again, put that back up. Um, work at the angle. Tune to the side. And press. And that should be even with the rest. And I'm gonna keep doing all of these so you guys have a complete finishing look. Again, come in, this base, I think I done broke it. <laughs> it won't stay up now. Make sure my car is nice and even. Come in at the angle here. And hold down. So yeah, I think I done broke my bottom or at least Did I break it? This won't stay up. All right. 
it's a dollar hole pump. So, show you the results so far. I got them nice and aligned, and that has not always been the case. Um, I think I realized about finding uh, the same continuing spot after the fact. I did try to use a pencil, but the pencil is so light that I still misguided it. And of course, I don't want to use pen because pen is permanent, right? So, how many I got left? And I wish I had my other items in here, but I have been working on trying to get all my things in one spot, but it's really hard because I did it and then Bella showed me that we're not quite ready to make that change. Um, she is a grabber and a puller. She will pull and grab at anything that catches her eye. So things have been readjusted, given the... All right, so these are done, right? You can see my hole. You should be able to see through. And I did break one of these rings, so you want to be careful not to open it entirely because um, all of them aren't made that well. But, you know, you pry it open as far as you can. So my nails. And you put um, in as many as you can at a time. I try to do half and half so that I don't scratch up my cards and they don't get away from me. So half on, put the rest on, and then you just simply close the ring back up. And as you can see, the movement with me moving further away is a lot more what I desire. This right here is not, I mean, it, it still moves, but I would prefer it to be a little farther over, which this one's actually not bad. I think I got, let me see again. Is that about the same? Most of these are probably about the same. Let me see here. Do I got? I think I just got better later. Yeah. Some of these are just better later. But um, this one was more what I had in mind. So the rest of them would definitely be like this. But I just want to show you guys um, the process. And obviously, the more over you go, the better. Um, you don't have to do a corner ring. You can do a center ring and you can obviously do um, a side ring, which I don't know. I might uh, switch it up right now. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I, I'm trying to think would it matter because I do sometimes hang them off the wall and they like this. But I guess it wouldn't be bad for them to be like this either. Hmm. Well, I would have to probably do pairs and I don't have any to do pairs. So I can't do that because I already did the matching differently, but you get the picture. I just want to show you guys the process so you guys can actually do this yourself um, and it not be an issue. I'm going to continue to do the rest of these while I'm sitting here, but um, feel free to let me know if this is something that you would actually be interested in or... Um, have you thought of something else? Like I said, I've actually done regular end art. I have bought the lined color index cards from Dollar Tree too, and I plan on doing those as well. As you know, I, matter of fact, let me just talk about something. This set right here is a loner, so I am gonna do these the other way. And while you guys are still here, I just show you guys how I would go about doing that. And who knows, maybe it'd be easier even to find a center. I don't know. That, maybe not. Right above that design seems to be, because I'm all the way in. That I want to be right there. It's easy if I did. Ah, now that I did it, it doesn't quite look centered. But I got to keep them all right there now, so no worries. But same thing, I would do three at a time, right? Oh, they're different designs. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's cool. They're still going to be used, right? Um, come on. 
Come on. These might be a little uneven. Oh, well. Okay, maybe not. But anyway, you guys get the picture. I'm going to finish all of these up and put them away and then use, obviously, what I want for the moment. But I just want to give you guys uh, some tools that will actually help you guys um, be committed to being in the Word, learning the Word, memorizing Scripture. Um, oh, one thing that I need y'all to know for sure. Some of these cards do not write out the complete text. So you definitely want to make sure you go to your Bible and just kind of double check and make sure that... Uh-oh, did I got too many? This is what happens when you do four. Like, almost not really. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weak. But typically when I try to do four, this happens. So, let me come back out and take one away. And obviously go back in that same area. But yeah, for sure, go back to your word yourself and look it up and get the whole text. And I don't know what translation, uh, I went too far this time, but that's all right. I don't know what translation this is either. I did not, I keep saying I'm gonna look into it to see if there's a difference or if it's all the same and I have not. But typically, you know that NIV is a free for all. So um, most things like this typically go for that. But you can check behind that too to make sure. Because I typically look through different translations anyway. Like I I have a different one on my phone and then I pick a different Bible so I can be versatile as much as possible. But yeah. So you guys get two done, baby. I am done. Keep it in the middle. Let's see what this one looks like. So obviously this hole, as you can see, you cannot see all the way through, mainly because of that first set. But same thing, which is why I say you get a few at a time. Come in. As many as you can see through at a time. And you're done. Like I said, this one's going to be a little different because it's from the top. And voila. And what a good one to land on. Do not worry about tomorrow. Matthew 6, 34. So, yeah. I just made those. Um, I don't mind the middle. Um, excuse my kids. <laughs> I don't mind the middle cutoff, but mm, I don't know. I think if I probably would like, as far as just easy and convenient, the side just seems because you can. You only got one angle in the middle of the side versus the middle is trying to find where is the middle per card with different prints. So yeah, that's a little different. But anywho. Tell me what you guys think. Um, have you guys gotten this? Is this something you've done? Do you hole punch and make anything else? I know people um, buy the rings and put washi tape on them. So um, let me know down in the comment section. Um, love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.